Hey guys, welcome back to Man Meets Magic. My name is Man Meet Singh and this is a very very special episode. We'll be taking a look at the Parlour Playing Cards prototype by The Gentleman Wake. Now I've always been a huge huge fan of Omar's content, the deck reviews and his YouTube channel. So you go make sure and check him out on The Gentleman Wake YouTube channel. And I'm nothing but grateful to have this opportunity to review a prototype for his upcoming deck. And I only have one person to thank for that, that's Alan. Alan Holmes from Leeds and you can go check him out on Instagram I'll leave a link in the description box down below so without further ado let's get into it These cards were designed by Stockholm 17 and the tuck box has been produced by Oath Playing Cards and this deck of cards has been endorsed by some of the finest card men around the world. Now there are four different variations and this is the wine red edition. This one and the navy blue edition are the standard decks but there is also a limited edition black and a gold gilded dynasty edition. That's just a Kickstarter special but the other three are still available on pre-order and there's a link in the description down below. The tuck box has been very very beautifully made with red and gold foil embossing all over. The front of the box reads the parlour playing cards for players, collectors and card enthusiasts. One side reads expertly crafted, finest quality. The other reads poker size linen finish and the back has the back design. The bottom reads designed by Stockholm 17, boxes by Oath, cards printed by Carter Mundi. The tongue flap reads TGW presented by the Gentleman Wake in gold foil. The top also has the parlor playing cards and the inside says Lorenzo, the parlor prototype red variant 2019. One of the flaps read S17 and the other has a really nice two of hearts reveal in uh, red foil. That's it for the tuck box, let's get into the cards. Now as for the extras, you'll be getting two jokers. Uh, and I'm assuming there's other extra ad cards, but this is just a prototype So I've only got Sir Fox who's selling playing cards for just 17 cents Not a bad deal and the other is a thank you card for Alan. Thank you so much for your support Cheers Stockholm 17 um, Don't like this bit, but that's okay. We can easily sort this out now as for the handling I can't really say much because this is a prototype uh, but you know what? I really can't complain. This deck of cards does everything a normal deck of cards should do. Normally prototypes, uh, they're meant to be terrible when it comes to handling or I've heard that they don't fan very well or um, another thing I've heard is that they don't ferrule. But this prototype does everything a normal deck of cards should do and it only leads me to believe that the final product will be much much better and you know just ridiculously good. The back design features the TGW logo with beautiful detailing all the way around by Stockholm 17. It gives the deck a very uh, Victorian vibe in my opinion and it fits in perfectly well with the Gentleman Wake Studio. As for the faces, they have given the cards a very very vintage look and every single pip has been redefined by Lorenzo. Now comparing this to a standard USB-CC playing card, I just feel like this is a bit more legible from a distance compared to the USB-CC standard. And I think it's been done quite well actually. It's exactly the same with the court cards and they've all been redesigned by Stockholm 17 and given the gentleman wake treatment. So here are the jacks, the queens, the kings, that's Omar, and I'm sure the Queen of Hearts is his missus. Lisa Quinn, 
and here are the aces and the beautifully designed ace of spades I think this is definitely one of the best ace of spades I've ever seen another really cool illusion this deck gives is that this is a two-way pack design when in reality it's not now I'm not sure whether that's intended for secret markings or it's just the way the back design is but I really hope we find out in the future. In summary I think this is hands down one of the best decks of playing cards to ever come out and everything from the little little details on the back design to the pips, the quartz, it's all been done just right and I can only say that I'm eagerly waiting for my decks to arrive through the post box. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, those are my thoughts on the prototype for the part of playing cards and uh, if you missed out on the Kickstarter campaign it's not too late. I'll leave a link in the description box down below and you can go and pre-order yours. Now, Alan, thank you so much for sending me this deck of cards, mate. I cannot appreciate it enough. I know you're expecting it back, but I've kindly decided to keep it for myself as a donation for the Man Meets Magic YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and I am now going to enjoy my new deck of cards. See you in the next one. Oh,